So P Y a closer look. This is lecture six of section two. Let's begin. In this lecture, we will explore the tool SOPY. We will learn how to create a project. We will learn how to add a visual. We will see a weather web service as an, as an example and we will see its operations. We will study, study the requests and response panes. We will learn how to invoke a service and how to get a response from a service. We will also study about single and multiple endpoints. All of this will be followed by a quiz in the end. Now we will explore the tool SOAP UI in detail. This is the SOAP UI starter page. This contains up-to-date information and some more information to help you get started quicker with SOAP UI Pro. Here are some of the links that help you get started on SOAP UI quickly. As discussed in the previous lectures, this is the main toolbar with the file menu item, tools, desktop, and help, as discussed previously. This is the icons shortcut toolbar. It contains the shortcuts to the various features in SOAP UI. This is the navigator pane, and this is the properties pane. And here are the log inspectors. Now let's create a SOAP project. SOAP UI project is basically the central point in all of the SOAP UI testing. Once the project has been created, you can create and run function tests on it, load tests on it, and create mock services, and also much, much more. Now to create a project, you go in the Navigator pane, and you right-click on the project node, and select New SOAP project. This will open a new SOAP project dialog box. In the new SOAP project dialog, enter a project name. And then click OK. This will create a new project in the navigator. So congratulations, you just created your first SOAP UI project. Now we will learn how to add a whistle. In SOAP UI, projects are mostly based on whistle. Although it's not necessary to add a whistle in the start, but it makes testing very easy if you add it in the start because the whistle contains all the information about the web service being tested. So to add a whistle, we right click on the project and go to add whistle. The add whistle dialog box will open. You write in the visitor location and then you click OK. So now you can see the visitor was successfully added to the project. You can see the operations in the web service in the navigator also. Each visitor based service exposes a number of operations with request and respond message format. In SOAP UI, the operations for a service are shown as nodes under the service node in the project navigator. In SOAP UI, there is not much that you can do with an operation. The bottom left pane, properties pane, show a number of read-only values for inspection purposes only. Okay, you can double click the project view for a window that gives you an overview of your project. As your project and test skills grow, this view will be very important since you can manage a great deal of things at, a, at the project level. SOAP UI even contains basic requirements functionality in the project window. Then you can also double click on the interface for an interface view. This view shows a lot of information about the visit itself. This is very useful for browsing and examining a visitor. 
Now we will discuss the request and respond panes in detail. For invoking an operation, you can add any number of request objects to an operation in the navigator tree. By default, SOAP UI creates a sample request for each operation while importing. Now when you double click on a request, it opens one of the more concept, most common concepts in SOAP UI called the request editor. The editor is divided into two panels. The left one is for the request and the right one is for the response. Each editor has a number of views shown in the vertical tabs along the left side of the editor and a number of inspectors at the bottom. If you are using SOAP UI Pro, you can also see forum and two other views here, but because we are right now using the open source version of SOAP UI, we can only see the XML version. Inspectors uh, at the bottom are for adding non-message body content to a message or for inspecting the corresponding message in different ways. Now we have this request and it's asking us to enter the zip code for a city whose forecast you want to know. In the XML, if you add the zip code and then you click on the green button, It will submit your request to the target service and giving you a very nice response for your request. In the response, you can see that you are given the state, the city name, and the weather forecast for that city. So, you've actually created your first ad hoc test of SOAP web service. So, if you are a closer look, it's time for a quiz. Question number one. In SOAP UI, the dash for a service is shown as nodes under the service node in the project navigator. The options are port types, operations, visitor, request. Question number two. SOAP UI by default creates a sample dash for each operation when important. A response, B request, C endpoint, and D protocol. The answer for question 1 is operations and the answer for question 2 is request. Question 3. What is the central point in all SOAP UI testing? A visual, B exible, C project, or D request. Question number four. How do you add a visual to a project in SOAP UI? The answer to question three is project. And the answer to question four is that you right click on the project node and then you select an add visual. You, the add wizard dialog box will open, you will enter the visual URL and then you will click OK and the wizard will be added. This is the end of the quiz. Thank you. This is also the end of lecture 6. Thank you.